uh, going. Take down my list of many meetings that we're on here today. Okay, call this meeting to order. Are you ready, mm -hmm. Madam Clerk? Uh, 205, we're here to discuss the Wallace Baseball Club uh, issues, request. So why don't you guys kind of fill us in on what you're thinking? Mm -hmm. And then let's, and then I guess you, they've already met with you or with Jessica. Sam and Jessica have we already spoke. Spoke so. on the phone, okay. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so essentially we've got two two projects that we're looking at doing. The one uh, main project that we're looking at is at the field at Wellman, the Southern field, the coach pitch field, um, does not currently have a fence around it. In the past, we have used uh, like T-posts and plastic snow fence, and that honestly concerns me more than having no fence and having kids run into T-posts and those sorts of things. We need something there to keep them from chasing balls into the street and into the parking lot. Yep. Um, we have donors in place that are willing to donate all the materials um, in order to get this done. What we're requesting from the county is to help us dig the holes and give us permission, obviously, to do so around that field. Um, I know that there is a, um, a power box on the outside of that field, mm -hmm. and so I want to make sure that those are dug correctly and that's all taken care of. And I prefer that that was done by by the county as it, as it is county property. And so um, that's essentially the request number one. And in the, in that in that other map that you have there, that that red line lines out where we're planning on putting that field. So this fence, yeah, for that fence. So for right now, um, I think the main goal is to just put it around that southern street side and then the west side into the parking lot. Um, at some point in time, we may go back and try and put a fence along those other two sides of it to turn it into kind of a full functioning baseball field in regards to the fence. But as for now, the the main goal is to just get it on those two sides. Um, like I said, to keep kids out of the street and to keep them out of the out of the uh, parking lot. And then our our second request is on the field there at the corner of Western, right behind the school district building. Um, from what I understand, I talked to Todd Howard quite a bit about this, but it, I think essentially half of that field is on county property and half of its school district. Um, there is uh, a baseball field there, so to speak. Now um, we would like to bring in a piece of machinery and cut out that infield and then bring in some baseball grade dirt to make it another functioning baseball field. Um, Todd was nice enough to go ahead and, and talk to Panhandle Health. Um, that ground has been remediated down to 12 inches with a barrier, so that's far below anything that we would be any, anywhere close to to disturbing. Disturbing. Um, and as far as as moving that dirt, there was a playground below the school district building there, and there's kind of a sunken in area. And they've asked us to just take whatever we take out and put it in that hole so they can level that piece of ground back out. So we're not we'd just be picking it up from the baseball field and moving it back over to that spot. Um, but that's essentially it. We have I have people in place that are willing to come do that uh, for us as well. So it's it's pretty simple. We're just trying to fix up the fields as best that we can. We're, we've got about 180 kids playing baseball for us this year. So mm -hmm. we're reaching a capacity issue with not having enough facilities. And so if we could fix up that one on Western, that would be that would certainly be helpful and it would be it'd be a great field to have used again. So. OK, and Zach, and did you go out with Zach and look at this fencing job or did Jessica do that? Jessica did. She's talked to him and the guys are more than willing to help out when you guys are ready to do that. So from public works standpoint, we don't have. When were you thinking of doing it? Um, I don't have an exact timeline. I would like to have it done before snow falls this year. Um, we always we always tend to have issues getting fields ready to go yeah. in the spring. Um, our game, our seasons get pushed back because of weather anyway. And so if we could have all of this done by fall, that's that would be our goal. We have games for another two weeks on those fields, and obviously, I don't want holes in the fields while mm -hmm. kids are playing out there. Yeah. So, um, but by second week of June, we should be clear. We could, yeah, we'd be clear to do yeah. that. And so, yeah, late June, early July would be would be fine to, to get it done if that's possible. So, okay, so one challenge to throw at you. <clears throat> the the northern field here, the one that you're wanting to cut out, mm -hmm. uh, the county owns that. But in the next week or so, the county is making some decisions on what land we may sell. Okay, there is a chance that we may end up selling that parcel or part of that parcel. Okay, um, 
it, in my mind, it might be wise for you to, you know, to wait until yeah. we've determined that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a chance that we may subdivide, and and that parcel would remain in county hands, and then that would make this a lot easier for you to continue Certainly. with what you're thinking about. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. I had mentioned when I first saw the letter that Jessica meet with him. She did. And then Zach's gone out and looked, and I guess he's volunteered to dig the holes himself. Yeah. Because he loves to dig around power <laughs> and gas. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the weeds building right here? Yeah. It is. So it would be right off the end of the the weeds building. It's right up in the the upper end of that L piece. Okay. okay. Questions from the board or comments or thoughts? No. Okay. Yeah, problem with improving that and helping get the fence up. And... I would agree. Well, I would move that we um, utilize county resources to dig the holes for this southern project. What are you calling that field? The... Well, it's Wellman 2 is what we refer to that field okay. as. Okay. Wellman 2. Wellman, Wellman two. 2. Yeah, Wellman 1 being the main field that's there that's used for little. And you've got all the materials and the install for the fence. All we need to do is holes. Correct. Okay. Yep. So I would move that we um, okay that project and instruct the county to work with them on um, coordinating a time to dig the holes. Uh, I will make that motion at this point, I, I'm not sure. I think we need to wait a week or two on the other one to decide, see what we decide to do with that property. Yeah. Okay. If that makes sense to you yep. guys. There's mm -hmm. still Absolutely. a chance at that. But... Second, second the motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. No. Okay. Anything from Public Works before no. we commit you to yet another project? <laughs> no, we're willing to help out. Willing and able. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, none opposed, so that carries. So we're good to go on the fence. Uh, the best I could say is that uh, I will reach back out to you, or one of us will, as soon as we know what we're doing with this other property. And if we, in fact, are subdividing or not selling, then then I think we could reconsider and try and, and have you go ahead and do that. I just don't want you to start cutting all that sod out. And then, yeah. Understood. Is that another slot on the agenda to come in and discuss the northern or is it now that we've placed it under your nose and you have decisions to make within the county on land use and land sales well let's it's, take care of that today yeah okay high motion that if the county decides to retain this piece of property uh parcel zero two nine zero five zero 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 seven zero and i'll give it to you okay <laughs> if we decide to retain ownership of that property or that piece of that property that we allow the baseball club to um, remodel that field second second any discussion no does that make sense yep. okay all in favor aye 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 Carries. Now we don't have to have another meeting. Wonderful. We just have to let you know. It's efficient usage of your time. And yeah, so I we'll just let you know when we know what we're doing with the land. Okay. So as far as as that potentially being sold at this point in time, if it does not get sold, is there a point in the future where it may get sold? Sure. So my question being, is there a piece of ground that we should be looking at in Silverton's County property that we should be sinking this is money there, into as opposed to that piece of ground? Is, isn't there a um, there's an old ball field or something out there on Elk Creek is that county property or is that not by NASCO? Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know. There was there's a, a backstop there. I don't know yeah. if baseball was played there or not. A long my, time ago when Elk Creek School was there. My thought yeah. being that there are there is that field out in front of the old Forest Service building as well. Um, if if it makes more sense to take the money and the resources that we have and put it into putting a baseball field there instead. Um, is that something that that would make more sense i guess just throwing that idea out there as opposed to putting it on a piece of ground that may or may not be sold in the future and the last thing i want to do is go sink three thousand dollars exactly. in the baseball field and then have it get sold way, that's five years down we the road feel the same we'll um, just look at it yeah we can we can look at that yeah give us some time to research yeah. research and you that. said the other the other piece was where <clears throat> so on that map i can show you it's right across that's this field here 
the helo pad. So we currently use these two corners mm -hmm. uh, for T ball, and we just use the grass. Obviously, we don't put anything on them except for tees and bases. But you could fit a baseball field similar to this size in either one of those corners uh, if you wanted to do so. That and, and and in that scenario, we'd take that backstop at the one on, on that northern field and just move it over there and use it. You know, Silverton Park with the with that's not a uh, they're not a corporate city. So how how would that work? I think this is county. It is county property, property. the entire okay. law. Yep. Okay. Yep. Because in all reality, that field is right next to the other two fields that we already use anyway. Yeah, that um, would be a... And is not necessarily any more, any less work than what we're planning on doing it at the field behind the school district. And anyway. frankly, yeah. there's parking yeah. here versus, versus up here. Yeah, your you your neighborhood park. parking. Yeah, yeah. So, you're right. Oh. So con food for thought, I guess. And that's yeah. 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 Good point to well, bring up. Yeah. yeah. We'll get back to you on what we decide with the other one. And in the meantime, we'll take a look at Silverton park here and um and see which one might be a better option for you okay, okay. all right perfect i get you started anyway yes yep. no nope, that's the defense go certainly what we needed to get done today so okay, okay. all right uh this meeting is